Tenebish, I remembered who those people were. The ones whose passium was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made them special. Their DNA had fewer errors. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passium, which contains a valuable component. It was this component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation.
This would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember.
Did you bring the module? Yes. How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so... You need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. Thank you. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The ep One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passium becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan, protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. The Spongers? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the public rescue fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache, not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. 
And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. What was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. disappeared to. Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good money. Very good, actually. I'm going tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear while their patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower collecting business. But all that's still just castles in the sky. In the meantime, we've got phytocopies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange. Uh... Sorry, I don't know what that means. Who are you? Enabish, I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Tabaha is gonna get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. I lost my memory, Tabaha. What are Fido copies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. Tell me what phytocopies are, and why we sell them. Cut the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it, which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers, make them into phytocopies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. Fine, Tabaha. So, you want me to pick some flowers? No, damn it, not pick some flowers. If you go and pick the first flowers you see, feel free to stuff them right up your nostrils. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is the prettiest flowers you can find. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look, you take the genome go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. I need two red gabaras with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier. Then pack everything. Pack into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. All right, that sounds doable. I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? Want me to bring back food? I need a lens for a female embody. A lens won't help that vase of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hong Kong. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. Bring me the lens, Tabaha. Fine, I'll bring it. But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. I'll be sure to do that. Just one more question. Shoot. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right, I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. Get yourself a hat. A warm one, made of fur. Know what I'm talking about?
So, about the lens. I already know. I heard your conversation. A lens in exchange for flowers. He's an odd old man. Fussy in matters of beauty. Don't forget to take the device he mentioned with you. Genometer? I don't even know what that is. If I understood correctly, that's the heredity gauge. You can use it to find flowers with the purest DNA. Very well. I'll figure it out.
You know, I was thinking, I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish, that's a bad idea. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested at the first registration. Well. All right, it's your call. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well... I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gerbera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. Strange is the word. And another thing. Their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it, only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your side is back. Maybe, if Tabaha makes good on his promise, and if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device, the look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes, 
How does this screen provide sight? The look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. Help me understand something. What? Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. Got it. you about the mirror between you and your former body. 
So, the mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses its original's right. It is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death. The reason is that sometimes there are involuntary mimicking contractions that resemble a smile. Obviously, that is something best left unseen. If you got a death wish, why would you go there? Where? Oh, nowhere. Did you bring the flowers? Here you go. Atta boy. Here is your lens. My word is my bond. I'm not even going to ask what you want with it. I don't know what's going on in your head today. And I don't want to know. Tabaha, what do you know about this amusement park? Stay away from it, if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. Why? I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. Why does that even surprise you? It's just a regular mere transfer. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids, they may not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. I remember those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. So there. At an airport? Where were they coming from? From all over. They were being brought here from all corners of the world. What's so special about these parts? Damned if I know. There used to be some kind of station here. A polar station. They were researching something. Polar? I think that's what they called it. It didn't interest me in the slightest. Tabaha, I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Gebera Garden? If only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine, I'll look into it. Thanks, Tabaha. All right, I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. Please, don't forget about my request. Did you bring what I asked? I did. The look screen as well? The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. 
The input is inside, right behind it. Install the lens first, and then my eyes. And then your eyes. Well, how's your vision? Is it working? Yes, I just... What? Mm, nothing. It's fine. My eyesight is back, thank you. What happened? Did you remember something? Yes, actually, I did. I know now why I wasn't on that list. Why weren't you? I wasn't on staff. I would come to the Gerbera Garden with the kids and go back with the same group. Meaning, I wasn't a full-time employee. I merely accompanied the children. Tabaha said those kids were accompanied by teachers. Those weren't teachers. It was psychologists that accompanied them. I'm a children's psychologist. Why the need for a psychologist at an amusement park? Enabish, this is not an amusement park at all. Those kids didn't come here for entertainment. They were gravely ill and were brought here for treatment. The Gobera Garden was a clinic. What were they treated for? Some kind of psychological disorder. Quite severe, often fatal. But it's hard to say exactly what it was. I can't recall. You mean the transfer was their therapy? One part of it, yes. There was a whole set of measures. Body replacement was the final phase of the therapy. We also searched for parts and staged plays. They too were part of the... treatment. And the cubes? Were they also part of the treatment? The cubes, the flower beds, even the height of the pavilions. All were deliberate, mandatory elements of the same therapy. The Gerbera Garden was constructed specifically for those children. It was the only means of treating their illness, peculiar though it may have been. The illness must have been peculiar to match. It's still hard for me to imagine what it might have been, but... Those kids, they evoked more than just compassion. There was something else. Some other complicated, ambiguous feeling. Tabaha is right. Those kids were unusual. Yes, and the amusement park was as well. Which means all arrivals had to be registered, myself included. I'll try to look for some kind of visitor's logbook or... Or what? What is it? My battery. It's nearly discharged. Bad news. I need you to make sense of all this. In that case, Enabish, you'll need to play with those cubes some more. Sure thing, Ida. I'll play. Which pavilion? A moment. Hands. Wrists. There, the fuel cell. Tenth pavilion. Help me understand something. What? You mentioned original's right. What is that? That's a right to bear identity. When a new M body is activated during a transfer, it is also bestowed original's right, thus acquiring an identity. At that very moment, the former body loses this right and is destroyed. Destroyed? Why? I'm not sure. Perhaps to ensure the two never communicate. Why? What would happen if they communicate? I can't be sure. That's a rare occurrence. I believe the consequences are rather strange. Got it. Mm -hmm. 